这个家。Just when you think you've solved it, you're dead wrong. They were handcuffed and later taken to jail. Why are they putting this on us? I think they should cut it out now because this ain't gonna solve the problem. I told you I don't want you living with roaches. Warning: This show contains graphic depictions, faceless painting, and real-life accounts of the most nefarious of activities. Yea, though they do try to project themselves as upstanding, productive members of society, these two knuckleheads just ain't worth a damn. If any of you should find this show to be offensive, turn it off and stop being such a vagina. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, Thank you, to be Jesus. Back, man, it feels good to be back. I'm feeling like I really need to do a shot. What do you think, man? Dave, I tell you, bro, that sounds like the best idea you've thought of in a minute. We're going to be doing shots of tequila. If you can't tell already from the YouTube channel, I'm wearing a fabulous sombrero because we're going to Mexico. You boys like Mexico? Yeah! (laughs) (laughs) All right, bro. Um, Uh, Let's let's do this, bro. Do you mind mind cracking the top on that? Yeah, let's do it, man. Me and Jose Cuervo go way back. I don't know uh, about you. My homie Jose, yeah. We're... He gets me into trouble a lot, too. We're good friends. Yeah, well, I mean, that's pretty much what he does, right? Yeah, I think so. Hey, look, don't give me any shit for pouring uh, halfway yeah. shots, because I ain't trying to, like, choke on air, you know? Yeah, what was that? What are you doing? Just shut the fuck up, man. Is that enough? Shut up. Jesus. You realize this goes on the YouTube and they're going to be like, look at this dude on Reloaded for four and a half shots. I'm just saying. Look, I'm okay with that, man. All right, man. Putting some salt on the damn rim of my arm. <laughs> Grabbing a lime <clears throat> for the lovely charm. This is one hell of a way to start a podcast. I tell you, the people are just listening to a bunch of hit silence. Yeah, I know. It's a long time coming. Look, I boiled crawfish today. I was at work the whole time, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Made sure, got two two sacks out. They came out great. It's Sat down delicious. and ate finally. Oh. And now, like, I'm finally sitting down and relaxing. You understand? Like, you brought the point up earlier. Oh, yeah, I didn't see you smile all day. I was fucking busy, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I get to relax. Right. Kids are in bed. The guests are gone. You know what I'm saying? You make a good point. You raise a good point, bro. I punched the clock. Yeah. See, I I mean, that's that's a lot. Um, Oh, you know what? I actually already know who we're going to toast this shot to, bro. This is the first time I've printed out my notes, and I'm not liking it already. I prefer to scroll. I could see that right now. So, your technique, you're finding that... Well, basically, organizational skills are better using technology as opposed to the old... uh... I guess, dude. I guess that's just what happened. That just happened. So check it out. This is is who we're toasting to. Panya the elephant. Panya the elephant died of kidney disease in the first week of March at the age of 55. She Mm. was a resident of the Audubon Zoo in New Orleans Mm. for 39 years. Mm. Yes. She was considered an ambassador for her species with Asian elephant populations having declined 50% in the past 75 years. She was quite the matriarch. Yeah. Um, I I love elephants. I don't know. I'm a big fan of elephants. I'm cool with toasting to an elephant. I mean, I'll toast to elephants. She probably had like the biggest vagina that either one of us have ever Considered. I don't know what that even means. It, you could run and hide in there from the cops. They'd never tusks. find you. If you got her into your smuggling like, operation, you'd be a great success. So almost so. like Luke Skywalker shoved himself into a uh, like a snow walker thing. Yeah. Yeah, basically. And She's, at, she was like a Trojan horse. At, at. Cheers right. to the elephant. Here's to Panya. <laughs> Panya. Love this girl. Motherfucker! Yeah, that was gay. Don't ever pour me another half shot again, bro. That felt oh, like fuck that shit, bro. I felt like you, I was. You in a made it Mexican yard. week. Oh, we're gonna be going through some, bro. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that was a good idea. Man, let me mm. just tell you, Dave. What you gonna tell me? Man, you just don't know. So. 
Are you aware of this AA? I believe it's the AAF, AAF situation. It's this secondary football league that they got. Uh, overseas? No, it's like no. an American. It's like the American Allegiance of Football, the AAF. Nope. AAF. Had no idea. Yeah, so it's like basically like this secondary football league that they're. I think it was actually. I think it's a Vince McMahon thing, like a WWE. Oh wrestling Lord! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So, but it was like supposed to be like a legit spinoff, right? Like almost like a B league football situation, the way that baseball does B league, right? Like, right. And I don't know much about like baseball. But I know that they have a B league, basically where you raise up like the, you know the, the fellas who aren't quite as skilled that just can't quite make the cut. That yeah. Type of thing. Yeah. Um, anyway, so there there was this league, and this is the inaugural season, and I don't know. I mean, like it had a little bit of hype, but apparently it's not even going to make it through its first season. That sucks because you know what? If the NFL keeps pissing people off, yeah. their competition is going to stomp them. Well, I mean, dude. And yeah, that's and the reason why I bring it up is because my, I mean the NFL just keeps on fucking people over, man. Yeah. Although they they, they did stand tall on this recent uh, bullshit, they, they, they but really it was did. after the fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I mean, but you're right. You're right. So I almost feel as though they really did. They really did stand up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody expected that. They were like, ah, nothing's gonna happen. Uh, yeah. They're not going to do anything about it. Yeah, apparently Sean Payton, uh, you know, he breathed a little fire into these people. Yeah, he, that dude walked in like a boss. He he said the right things, apparently. I'm proud of him. Worked out. And Rita, too. Rita Hayworth? No, no, the owner. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking to make sure other people, like celebrities, weren't involved or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, it was the other Rita... The other one that we talk about often. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, um, I meant to check the stats before we got on here because I was going to mention them, give ourselves a shout out. We're do, we're, I know we like complain and we're constantly scheming about ways to promote and shit like that, but yeah. I mean, we're not doing too bad for mm. a podcast that doesn't promote at all yeah. and just sits around bullshitting and drinking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. not that bad, dude. Nah, it's but not I mean, that bad. yo, we could certainly use more support, you know what I'm saying? Well, check it out. You know, we got support now um, from a few new territories, bro. Really? Yeah, Brazil. Do tell. Brazil. Yeah, Brazil's I'm in the house. I'm a huge fan. Oh, my God. Bro, yeah. I got, like, mad Brazil stories. I heard that, dude. United Arab Emirates. Okay, I know that cat. He sold me a car. Probably. They're, they're feeling us over there. Uh, Canada and Taiwan. Whoa. How you like that? I love Taiwan. Yeah. I'm about dude, to do some Taiwanese. This is a fact. On the way here to your house. <clears throat> so I had to cross... What used to be the world's largest bridge? Yeah, that's the longest Dude, bridge. Check out that fucking spider, bro. Oh, whoa. That's a big fucker. It really is. I wish I had something to throw at him, but everything in front of me, I need. It's fucking creep. Yeah. He's going right. the wrong direction, too, because there's nothing in here. I mean, nothing I'll in here for you. As soon as he gets close, I'm going to fuck him up. Pour some tequila on him and see what he does. So wait, where I was in the middle of a fucking story. <clears throat> he is coming straight for you. Where'd he go? He's right there on the stand. He's spreading his legs like he's about to spray some shit. That dude, for nobody that can see, because nobody can see. Nobody can see this. Um, he's huge. He's, he's like creeping. His arms span at least a fifty cent piece. Yeah, he's it's... he's working on a silver dollar pancake. Dad, <laughs> dad, dad! Oh, you got it! 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 Oh my god. Fucking bitch! <laughs> I think I just shit myself. <laughs> I know he shit himself. <laughs> oh, that was a lot. That was. Did it feel like he was stepping on a boulder? I <clears> felt <throat> like he was evading me the first couple of snumps. You know, that brings me to my next subject. Uh, we need interns, man. Um, I guess <laughs> somebody to smash bugs while we talk. But uh, That took a lot out of me. For those of y'all that are just joining Reloaded 504, I think I mentioned it in the last podcast. 
Reloaded 504 is now accepting applications for internships. Our parent company does hold an LLC, so we are a legitimate business. We're not just make-believe. We need somebody to deal with internet marketing, SEO. We need an expert in that field. That was a real spider I just killed. Yeah, that really, he had, he'd probably weigh, he was probably like a quarter pounder. I had to wrestle it down. Uh, we need a paralegal to keep us out of jail. And if you've ever seen me, and if you know me, you know that I know how to wrestle uh, humans. Which this... shoes, which shoes are you wearing? Oh, these are my Adidas trail shoes. Yeah, you Definitely needed trail shoes to stomp him out. Yeah. I had to change shoes mid-stomp. So... Because one of his tusks went through my soul. <laughs> so, look, we need uh, an intern to deal with internet SEO. We need a paralegal to keep us out of jail. And we also need somebody to field calls so that I don't need to figure out what to do with people really? that leave we, random calls i don't know how to categorize we, stuff. we have way just too much to do besides answering phone calls all fucking day from i don't you guys. know what to do with these calls y'all just don't stop huh fuck fuck's I, wrong with y'all i don't know what do y'all not work i don't have people don't work cabinet for phone calls the people don't work i guess man i mean i appreciate it but fuck love the calls also if you're still in school and you put in work for us We'll write your doctor's excuses, and we'll answer the phone pretending to be that doctor's office when the school calls, so you're set. You're I'll, straight. I'll write an essay. Why you got to bring Spanish people into it? Because I'm wearing a sombrero? Shut essay? up. Hey, yo, what's up, essay? That okay. was clever. Ah, that was so clever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, seriously, I'll write an essay, but you're going to have to pay me. Look, I would be so happy if some kid came to me and be like, look, I'm skipping school right now. What can I do and write me a doctor's note? I'll be like, high five, dude. Yeah. High five. Definitely, definitely. Congratulations yeah, yeah. on following your ambitions. You're a resourceful fella. Yeah. Like, you're the type of dude that needs to work for me. I, I decided I was going to have a bone to pick with you um, before and in light of recent events. Mm. I no longer have that bone to pick. But mm. you know what? I was like, you know... Feel free to pick any bones you choose. You having a job is not convenient for me because yeah. when I'm uh, working on the boat and I'm doing my night shift thing, yeah, nobody's awake at three in the morning. But if you're unemployed, yeah. you are. Dude, that was really pissing me off when like your comfort time to like get in touch, like our our. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. Did I cut you off? No, 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 no. That was yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I I feel you. It, it affected me as well. No lie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this with the world. So we kind of had this moment, or at least this like window schedule that, that accommodated both of us weirdly. Yeah. Like, so I guess you were like in between I'd doing- be on the night shift or something. Important shit. And I was just like, like just ramping up to like get my creative juices flowing. Yeah. Um. And so we had that 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 window of time, but then so I I went ahead and found gainful employment, which was fucking so stupid. Like in retrospect, who would do that? I don't know. I don't think anybody wants to do it to themselves. They just go they go and find it out of a necessity to pay bills. I think. Right. So I went ahead and and, and you know found this this thing that they call it's like a job and you fucking work for people and you do what they say. And then all of a sudden, like people, it's baloney. It's crazy. It is. It's crazy baloney. It's crazy baloney. Anyway, so yeah, so so that that window closed, and Dave and I no longer had that opportunity to collaborate. It was terrible in the creative space. Yeah, right when it's popping off. And I so, get really creative, like between three a.m. and five a.m. Right, right. It was a common time. Yeah. It, it, you know what it reminds me of, Dave, is, you know how, well, to see, this may be something new to you, but, like, in the corporate world, you'll have, like, bathroom buddies, and that bathroom buddy may that change. so gay. Wait, it gets gayer, trust me. I don't want to know about your gay exploits. <clears throat> Whatever you had to do to keep your job, you know what, more power to you, but I just don't want to hear about it. That's fine. This is not gay, because I'm not a gay fella. You just said bathroom buddy. Right, I know. And I'm pretty sure that it's not a unisex bathroom, so that's... No, nah, it was dudes. Yeah, that's... Check cute. it out. I'll explain. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, bro, don't... That, 
don't patronize me with that year. That year was a fucking patronizing year. Yeah, it was because no way you're gonna convince me otherwise. Right, I've made listen, up my mind. Listen, listen. So, all right. all right. So you start your day. You fucking park in the parking lot. You fucking suck a little dick. I do. I can't speak for you, homie. I really, I don't know what the fuck kind of homosexual <laughs> shit you're dude. into, and I'm, I'm fine fucking with it. Captain. Yeah. Oh, I'm Captain Heterosexual, motherfucker. I don't Pretty even know much. what that means. All anyway, right. my bad, dude. You park Thank your car, you. and then what? So you're getting your day started, and you fucking, you know, you you put your satchel down at your office, and you, <laughs> and, you, <laughs> and you get your fucking day started, right? And yeah. eventually, you're going to take your first piss of the day, right? You know, it's just, you, you, you release the dragon. You have to, to empty the empty the flapjacks. Who's the lucky em- guy? Empty the, uh, <laughs> the flood walls, whatever it is. And so it just so happens maybe you, you are in the in the in the men's room at the same time like bam coincidentally with some colleague of yours. Uh-huh. Whatever. Small talk ensues. Coincidentally. And then and then you leave the bathroom after you wash your hands and everything's fucking great. You go back to work and everything's cool. Nothing nothing to think of. Like nothing happened. Okay. And then the day progresses, and, and you just it. you're just a flutter and fucking just tapping on the fucking tapping on the keyboard relentlessly, productive, being productive. Yeah, it sounds like it sucks, dude. And it, dude, it does. It sucks fucking horribly. Were you in a cubicle? What, let 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 me finish this 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 thought, please, Dave. Okay. So then you so you're just fucking doing this thing, and you're just zoned into this fucking. Eyeball melting fucking horrible shit that you've decided to do with the rest of your fucking life. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, so this is, I'm keying back into the story here. Mm -hmm. So, and then you realize you get the tinge, oh, I gotta pee again. Because I've been drinking like two cups of coffee and like fucking, I have nothing else to do. So I've just been drinking coffee and water and I just, and so you go to the bathroom <clears throat> the men's room, and the same fucking dude from earlier in the day is taking a piss too. So you know what? You're fucked. You're on the same schedule. So basically, for the rest of the day, every time you go to piss, that dude's going to be pissing with you. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like when chicks hang together for a long period of time, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden they start Their having menstrual the menstrual cycles. They yeah. start having the menstrual Dude, together. I can't explain it. It just, it happens sometimes. And you're telling me that story is not homosexual. It has nothing to do with sexuality at all. It sounds like y'all were trying to meet in a private <laughs> it may place. So- it may sound like that, right? In I the could... boys' room. Yeah, no. But y'all weren't smoking like rock smoking stars. in the boys. <laughs> no, room. y'all weren't. Rock star in it, y'all were like, nah. Hey, how about we show up in the same room at the same time and pull our penises out? <laughs> See, it didn't rock out like that for me. Like, I always made it a point to be like, yo, all right, so this dude's in the same bathroom at the same time. Something's weird. You finish first. But I'm just, I acknowledge the fact that it was like definitely like a. How many urinals did they have in this bathroom? We shared it. Shared one. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Segue into um, how you recently <laughs> lost no. your... No, man. That's too much on me, bro. Go ask some questions. List me up. I'm going to ask a question. It's going to go back to you. I don't feel like talking about that right now. Oh, man. God damn it. I mean, it's I just too much. I, I mean, haven't heard that story yet. I was looking forward to it, man. It's, it's, too, it's too soon. It, like, give me another 10 minutes. Oh, all right. Fine, dude. Uh, okay. Uh, I was going to ask you this. Do you realize that foreigners revolutionized the mini mart? Like, it used to be a mini mart, you could only get certain things. Like, the most rowdiest thing was like four loco and a hot dog or some shit. But when foreigners moved in, they started their own mini marts. They weren't named like. The mini marts have been like run by foreigners. No, 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 like time, I'm talking about like time saver, circle K, like corporate shit. True. Right? Okay. Okay. So that was like, you know, you could go get a four loco and a hot dog at three o'clock in the morning. That was like the rowdiest thing you could do. That was like that pre, you don't know what four loco is, bro? 
It was that pre-mixed uh, drink. It was like horrible grain alcohol and some fake fruity flavor. Or in a, Yeah, it was like in a tall boy can. Huh? And drink two of those and you'll be like fucking retarded. I've never heard of a four loco. It was terrible. I tried it once. It was like the equivalent of Cisco when we were coming up. Okay, so th- you're saying this is something that they have now? No, I think it was outlawed. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I'm serious, dude. <laughs> I've never heard of this shit. Yeah, it's you're terrible. You're like, yeah, Four Loco, like, fucking well, it's dude, coming up. Dude, if you see it, buy it. It's, <laughs> it's terrible, but just finish it, and then you'll understand. Where would I find it? In a mini mart. Like, during, like, a like a highway run or something? I, I don't know. Like, I'm not gonna find... I've never seen it. A, it, any mini mart that I've local? ever been to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was local, bro. It wasn't. I, I think it. I think it had like national distribution or some shit. Okay. Anyway, my point was that, like, the foreigners moved in and started their own mini marts. Yeah. One a piece, like individual, you know. Yeah. And theirs became like the most gangsterinous mini marts you ever seen. Like you could walk in there and. Instead of like uh, hot dogs and four loco, you'd be able to get knives, weed pipes, dick yep. hard pills, yep. uh, cheap scullies, and handkerchiefs. No doubt. Like, like all your robbing supplies and fried chicken. Dude, 100%. Yeah. And like the dopest, most expensive, freshest white t shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we're talking about $25 white t shirts. Well, I mean, they did some the of that. At the fucking corner store right next to the fried chicken. They were high quality, though. You know? Super, like, 2,000 thread count. Yeah. T-shirts. Yeah. I admire them for only, that. Only thugs wore this shit. And you know what? Yeah, you ain't lying. <laughs> and, and not only that, like, all this shit was stacked on the counter in clear plexiglass. Well, is stacked on the counter in clear, clear plexiglass. So, like, why, if, you, if you should happen to ha- have to wait in line to check out, yeah. you can do all of this, uh, you know, last spur of the moment shopping impulse buy type shit yeah. while you're waiting to check out yeah you can basically outfit your whole situation like if you were if you roll up into this joint to get some gas and you're about to hit the club yeah no problems right got your weed pipe got your knife got you're your dick good. hard pill got your fit yep you're hungry got some fried chicken Psh, there's funny. probably somebody back there that does taxes yeah need a date they yeah got, they got that yep they probably rent out women by the pound yeah it's money uh, interestingly enough, uh, this morning on the news, uh, Brothers Food Marts across Louisiana are getting uh, indicted. 72 counts what? of uh, employing illegal aliens and no. uh, paying cash under the table. Yep. I'm waiting to see what happens. All y'all in Reloaded, all y'all Reloaded 504ians, if you're not from Louisiana, Man. you don't know the love that's tucked into a Brothers Food Mart meat pie. Them things are delicious for days. They're delicious. Yeah. I'll be sorry to see them go. I, hopefully they don't go out of business because of this. Hopefully they, they've they made enough money throughout the years to get a decent lawyer. I honestly don't think that I've ever had a Brothers meat pie, but oh I have God. had... You've had <clears> their <throat> fried had, chicken. Yeah, I've had their fried chicken. I've had their... Man, it's just... the. The fact, I mean, you you said it, you know, like they sell, it's like a novelty shop, man. You roll up in that joint and it's like they got like things that you can find like in a truck stop in Alabama, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And I like, hope they come out on top. I mean, pro- I'm not, not for employing illegal aliens, but at the same time, <clears throat> I'm not for seeing Brothers Food Mart disappear because yeah, let's dude. face it, anything you need, it's already there. Right. Like I, when I, when I used to roll up to these spots... Like the same spots, like I, I pretty much knew, like so I knew these 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 dudes weren't a hundred percent as far as like you know uh, legitimate, right? Like as far as like Donald legitimate Trump legitimate business, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, and so whatever it was, but they were always like fairly decent, like cool cats. You know what I'm saying? Like they the were people always behind the counter, friendly, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. You know, like like. We gotta realize, Brothers Food Marts. I mean, they're all over, but a lot of their locations aren't in the best neighborhoods. And then, they, so these people gotta deal with everybody, right? But then, some kind of a way, they they like find a way to mesh, right? And they know? always had things that like you really just like couldn't find anywhere else. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Everybody needs like uh, a four color steel knife and um, a four color glass pipe. 
to right. match. You right. know what I'm saying? If you need, like, there was this one time where my girlfriend and I had had, like, a small spat, you know, just, like, every day, whatever, whatever, like, uh, do I look fat in this? Of course not. You said it wrong. Whatever it was, you know, like. There it was. Yeah. Anyway, so so we were going out that night, and uh, so I had stopped at the like the corner store, like the local, uh, you know, immigrant owned fucking. Was it a brothers? It was not. It was like a save and go oh. or some shit, right? Yeah, yeah. I wish that I could. You know what? Edit this shit. It was a brothers. There you go. There you go. Um. So I roll up in that joint. I was like, Yo, do y'all have anything romantic? Do y'all have any flowers of any sort? Like, I just. Need to give my girlfriend something. I know I'm in a fucking like corner store, but do you have anything? And he was like, flower wise, yeah, no, not much. And he was like, this is the only thing I have with a flower. And the dude like handed me a crack pipe. Yeah, those little glass pipes. Because they, the they, ass cause they sell them. fucking crack pipes. Yeah. Uh, as like flowers. Tell, you know, tell tell the listeners because they might not realize what you're talking about. Right. So they, I guess the. The, it's a point of purchase. It's right on the counter, right by the register. So the 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 I guess the the these people the the sellers the way that they can get away with selling crack pipes is by sticking a little fake rose in it. Yeah. And it becomes like a novelty gift item. I don't because there's really nowhere know. else on earth that you're gonna find a glass tube about <laughs> four inches long and just wide enough to stuff some <laughs> chore boy in and make yourself a crack pipe. Right, so that was basically all that they had to offer. So, <clears throat> and look, I wasn't born yesterday, you know. So, I've, did you buy your girlfriend a crack pipe? I, I, like I said, so I wasn't born yesterday. I've been around the block. I've, I've seen people smoke crack. I've, you know, this, that, all that. And, you know, in the moment, I was like, this was all about me just trying to make my girlfriend. I was just trying to get her some, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you bought it. I was like, yeah, pipe. yeah, yeah, cool, cool. I was like, put it, put it in a bag for me, right? put it in a paper bag you know Mm -hmm. like the best version of a gift wrap that i could think of at a convenience store did this get you out of the doghouse fuck yeah dude so check it out so but i get back to the car and i'm like i'm like you know all right you can finish pumping my gas bitch and then she gets back in the car yeah that was a joke yeah Obviously. I know. I know. So, (laughs) so i just hand her the bag i was like baby i love you i'm sorry you know this is this is all they had. And uh, she's like, <laughs> she just starts laughing, you know what I'm saying? She was like, you just gave me a crack pipe. <laughs> I was like, I mean, baby, I went in there and I asked if they had any flowers, and this is what they gave me. I bought you flowers. Look at it, though. It's like this. Look, if the flower doesn't make you happy, some crack will. So there either way, no I'm winning. There to be had, but yeah. But it was like, you know, I just bought... I, I bought you flowers, and that's all I know. Anyway, it worked out. We still tell the story. It's fucking, it's it's like a, uh, it's like, what do you call that? It's like a, um, uh, it's a centerpiece. It's it's a, a sofa table. Uh, you did that, though. Yeah, I did it. It happened. I'm proud of you for it, though. Really? Yeah. Yeah, no, it happened, bro. I mean, uh, like, I, I think I halfway knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I knew exactly what I was doing. But, I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, no crack, I guess? I didn't have any crack. Yeah, but you know you pulled it off. Right, but I didn't have any crack. No, you didn't have any crack, but you got out the doghouse, didn't you? Definitely. That's awesome, dude. I'm thank good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's, uh... Tidbit bit of advice from your lady 504 to you. Yeah. yeah. You ever Even in the doghouse, those... buy your lady a crack pipe. Well, just just <clears> look <throat> for look for flowers anywhere you can find them. And if you happen to find them in a crack pipe, boom. Yeah. Dude, I was looking on uh on this fucking uh Podbean service that we use. Yeah. Ron Burgundy has yeah. a podcast. Yes, everybody is talking. He's all the the, uh, yeah, fuck the twin. that. Fuck that, dude. It was started January this year. They got one two-minute podcast on there. It's got 10,831 followers and 68,000 plays yeah. from one two-minute podcast. Well, I mean... So obviously, in order to make our podcast jump off, we need to go star in a movie and have it be wildly successful. 
Well, no. What you what you want to do, I guess, in Ron Burgundy's Ron Burgundy's behalf is if I don't know, you you get desperate and you want to just take from the small people. Yeah, maybe we need to address him. We need to send him an email. Like Ron Burgundy, I don't know, brother. I know you're like not a good po- not a good anchor man. Yeah. And like, you know, your hair ain't all that great. Right. I can drink scotch too, motherfucker. Right. But you shouldn't be stepping on my pod toes. Yeah, you're stepping on our pod toes. I think Reloaded 504 needs to approach him. We should. Fucking leather bound books. I got a problem with this fucking guy. I got power tools. He doesn't even know what the books. fuck a podcast is if you listen to his first podcast. Exactly. That dude's like not knowing what's going on the whole oh, time I he's don't talking. Even know like, what I'm now. Oh, yeah, is silly this me. The radio? Silly Look me. At the table. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. 10,000 followers. But everybody fucking listens to this shit. Jesus it's fucking ridiculous. Or, Only because you know I was on Saturday Night Live. You know what we need to do? We need to flip the script on that whole idea. We need to have him on as a guest. Break and we'll be caps. like. We'll be like, hey, we love you so much. Come on the show. We want to. And then when he gets here, we'll be like, why are you such a fucking moron? Break his kneecaps. And then we'll we'll wait till the end of the podcast. Break his kneecaps. But the whole time we'll just like dog him out. But then in the meta tags, right? In the oh, tags yeah. for the show, we'll have Ron Burgundy, and we'll get all ten thousand fucking followers. But yo, asshole. No, no, I could see that. If we can uh, definitely get him on the show, then we could tear him up. Yeah, and, I'll and be like fucking. Ron Burgundy, you're an asshole. I don't believe that you got that many followers. I hope you catch the diabetes. Ron diabetes. Burgundy. Ron Burgundy, we already know that you are just a fake news person, so I don't understand why you have to s- t- tread on my podcast. Yeah, that was make-believe anyway. First of all... I think his friend that was putting on bits of Panther for Cologne should have had his own spinoff. That's just me. Was that Tommy Davidson? I don't know who he was, but he had a mustache, and he was like... Skinny it's black dude? It's No, the white dude with the mustache that thought he was like God's gift to women. And he put on that cologne, and then everybody was like, that smells like an Indian diaper on fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not ringing a bell? Uh-uh, man. I never watched that shit. You didn't watch the fucking show? Fuck no. <clears throat> so you've never seen Anchorman? No. What? Yeah. It's hilarious, man. I won't lie. Fuck you. You're being a uh, you're being a, a traitor right now. Well, shit. There's a reason I got 10,000 followers for one two-minute podcast months ago. Fuck that, dude. We put shit out all the time, and motherfuckers are like, ah, we'll get to you eventually. That's because they don't know us. No, I think it's because he probably got super promotion because he's a fucking movie star. His shit's been all over promotion, of course. You know what? We're talking like it's him. It could be an imposter. Fuck that guy. Fuck his imposter. Yeah, fuck the imposter too. I mean, basically, fuck anybody who's stepping on all the little people's toes. My bad, y'all. My sombrero ran into my <laughs> the microphone. This thing's huge, bro. It takes. This dude to is wear. like the fucking. He's like the sloppiest Mexican ever. Whatever, man. Y'all need to tune into the YouTube. I happen to be wearing right now an official pair Dude, you're supposed to speak over my song. No, I'm wearing blue blockers. That's what I wanted to tell him. Like fucking Pablo Escobar. Hey, man, these things were made back in the G. This is an original pair of blue blocker sunglasses. Matter of fact, on the, on the original uh, commercial for these, the yep. dude that was rapping on the beach yep. was wearing a sombrero. No I shit. just remember that. What? Yes, sir. Like, what, what year are we talking? Probably early 90s. Early 90s. Homeboys on a beach wearing those shades with a sombrero. These were like a thing. I don't know. I don't. It was like one of those infomercial things. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't wasn't like a mainstream thing. It was like as seen on TV thing. Gotcha. Yeah. But much love. I was feeling them. I never wore them until I found them at a flea market. And I was like, this is hilarious. I must have them. So. Yeah, yeah, blue. I have a pair of blue blockers. I think I I never bought them, so obviously I either I mean somebody left them somewhere, 
near my hands. They're a relic. You need to hold on <clears> to them. <throat> they're great, but they're like the true blue blockers with like the side shades and the top shade. Like to where like it's a huge body. Yeah. Like but like you're fully protected. Horse blinders. Yeah, you're fully protected. <laughs> The only thing that's missing, you know, they probably take old shit like that and then put tactical on the side of it and then advertise it today. Right. Like, everything today is fucking tactical. Yeah. Look at my tactical pen. I, I got suckered into that. That's fucked. I don't even know. I wanted to tell you I'm okay with you saying bro. Yeah. I say brah. Yeah. I think that's better. Well, no, I was bra like all my life, but bro is more like, it's, it, it snaps. It gets your fucking attention. I think I'm okay with it as long as you spell it B R E A U X. Bro. That's too much, though. You gotta say it like that. You can't say bro. Okay, then I'll be like, bro. bro. There you go. That's awesome. You should do that yeah. every time. I will. What up, bro? Yes. Thank you. Yeah, all day, bro. I'll feel better about it, man. All right, you have my word. Every single time I say bleh, I will say it like bleh. I'm glad we talked about that. Sure. All so, day, look, I, I figured we better get it out of the way. Um, sure. The fucking uh, my Mardi Gras situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll say what you got to say. I don't know. Mardi Gras, Mambo, Mambo, That's what I'm talking Down about. Down in New Orleans. Yeah, so, uh, Reloaded 504ians. Dear Reloaded 504ians. Uh, Mardi Gras was, it was okay for me, but it was a bit rough. Uh, I went missing for a period of time, apparently. And, um. Don't worry, don't worry. I Fans was found. He, he made it home safe after, yeah. after 70 42, I've got hours. all of my appendages. I have no medical conditions stemming from this and uh, no rap pending. sheet. No rap sheet, um, and I made it home safe. So that's a plus. But um, there's a chupacabra. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I, I figured it out. This is this is my personal. Everybody's got their own. This is my personal recipe for disaster. That chupacabra just does not know how to be silent. <laughs> I thought they were nocturnal animals. Yeah. Well, I mean, if that didn't come out of the house right now, then you know <laughs> we gotta stop. I am sorry. I was startled by the chupacabra. Yeah, Continue yeah. your story. Anyway, my personal recipe for disaster is this. I'm never free to go out, so if, when I finally do go here, out... Here come the excuses. <laughs> if, when I finally do go out, there's nothing going on, and I have no friend to throttle my ambitions, it's over. That's it. I'm gonna go <laughs> until I run into a brick wall. Obviously. Yeah. Well, what happens when you like start leading your friends into like brick walls that you're not at um, good luck to him. I don't know what to tell you, bro. That's just, what happened was, what had happened was. Uh, what had happened? Uh, I got a hotel in Metairie and, um, what did I do? I went out the night before Mardi Gras and nothing was going on. Evidently, everybody was saving up all their ambitions for Mardi Gras day. But I couldn't take no for an answer, as usual. I'm waiting. hard-headed as fuck. So I just kept on the going out spree. I'd already been drinking when I went out to the parade that day. And, um, yep, just kept on going out. And I don't know. I dropped off the face of the planet for a short period of time. How couldn't does that be feel? Because it happens occasionally. You know, um, today, doing it... These days is different than doing it in the past because I was able to like piece together parts of my night. <laughs> yeah. Like I got text messages from Lyft and um, I, I uh, called in the reloaded 504 number. 
504-457-8011. And surely you were assisted. I left myself a message. Uh, no, I left a message to our fans. Well, I was even thinking about our fans while I was missing. Well, you you are a sh- just you, you should consider yourself a hero. Yeah, so um, I feel like a hero. Fuck off. So anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> just it was crazy, dude. I, I got I, videos. I, 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 I took videos of myself while I was walking down Veterans at like eight o'clock in the morning with uh, a flask full of bourbon, well, empty because I was drinking it, and a coffee, and I was laughing how yeah, it was just retarded. How does that mix? Maybe I'll put that on a YouTube channel eventually, but it's... Uh, did you did you mix the bourbon and coffee? Um, well, I mean, you take a sip of bourbon, you take a sip of coffee. That's how you were... That's, that's crazy. Caffeine, booze. Caffeine, booze. That's dope if you're rolling like that. I've never... Uh, I was apparently doing it pretty hardcore, bro. I don't know. It was fucking retarded, bro. I got, I got uh, audio of me talking about how I'm going to kick some dude's kid in the chest... <laughs> <laughs> and not give a fuck. <laughs> um, I don't know, bro. It's just it was it got out of hand. Yeah, I think there may be audio. I don't know, whatever. Either way, yeah. I mean, shit. I I hope you had a good time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I had a good time too. Somebody shit. tell me. I yeah. wanted to tell anybody, any reloaded five oh four ians that are locals. If you saw me out Mardi Gras day. Hit me up. Let me know what I was doing. Because uh, for quite a period of time, I'm not sure what I was doing. Yeah. Made it home safe, though, so it's gravy. I um I don't know when I started the day before, but I was seen walking back to my hotel room at around 10 a.m. Mardi Gras day. Oh. I went into the hotel room, uh, took like a two-hour nap, and then <laughs> went back out to the Mardi Gras. Yeah, I mean that's that's how you do, bro. It I mean, was, basically you're a tourist, right? Because you was had to military. Get a military. Yeah, you know, you, you're from like you know you're about an hour away or whatever, forty five minutes an hour away. Yeah, had to get a hotel. So yeah, you were basically in like you know it was like vacation mode. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, I can't. My be wife managing. and my youngest son, my three year old, were both sick, so they yeah, stayed yeah, home. That's right. That's right. That's so right. I was. Uh, he just turned seventeen, but uh, I was with my sixteen year old and um, my brother in law. So I was like, "Look, y'all don't do anything to get us kicked out of this hotel. Y'all don't do anything that makes y'all go to jail, and we're all good." Right. Right. I mean, that's... Yeah. Go live. The most succinct advice you could possibly give. Dude, that's all a 16... It's like shopping for a gift for a 16-year-old. They don't want a gift. They want money. Right. Like, get to the point. So, when we get there, yeah, we could spend some father-son time together. We went out. We had a box of chicken. One saw a parade. But after that, I was like, look... Do you. Yeah. Stay out of trouble. Roam the earth. Stay within a few blocks at a hotel and don't get arrested and don't cause a problem and we're all good. Out. And he did. Stayed up all night and, you know, did whatever the hell he wanted. But I tell you what, bro. Like, so that advice wasn't given to me, but it was given to me. Like, that's the advice that I just assumed and that I rolled with when I was that age, right? Like, my parents didn't, like, if anything, I mean, I was raised by my grandmother, right? So there right. was no, like, it was just like, no. And I was like, yeah. So I just kind of, like, did what it was. Um, but at the same time, like, somehow we knew, like, not to... Go too far? Not to go too far. Yeah. Right? Not to... Yeah. So, yeah. do you... I mean, you just have to have that trust, I guess. Yeah. And it's got to be crazy frightening, because I can only imagine, like, how many times my grandmother was like, yo, yo, Todd, all right, have a good night, be safe, and I was like... Dude, my intentions were to go out and, like, break laws. Yeah. Like, 100%. Um, I think my son is not quite where I was when I was his age. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I so, agree. I took some solace in that, and I, I, I mean, I left this house with, with the intention of making sure that he was given more freedoms than he normally has, because it's Mardi Gras, and he's out with just his dad. You know what I'm saying? So... Of course right. I'm going to give him some freedom. I'm going to keep tabs on him. We all got yeah, cell phones yeah, yeah. now. It's a hell of a lot easier to keep tabs on your kid when he's got a cell phone too, Definitely. you know? So 
Duh, speaking of which, are you familiar with an app called, uh, I think it's like something 360? I don't know. What does it do? Basically, it's like it puts a homing device on your anybody. Um, so Jody I mean, me I can track any phone. Track my iPhone. We, we got that yeah, for all our Yeah, it's probably iPhones. similar. But, like, so Jody put me onto it, like, during Mardi Gras when her and her family, when her family was in town. Right. And they would be out on parade routes. Like, if I wanted to go meet them out, this app would, like, pinpoint the fuck out of them. No shit. Yeah. Yeah? So, like, I could just find them, like, anywhere on a parade route. Yeah. Which, and, like, so. Pretty we, handy. We both still had the app. So, like, on the DL, um, I don't know, all of our listeners, like, fucking perk your ears up right now. So there's this app called, like, Something 360. Sorry, I can't help you out anymore. You're going to have to do a little bit more research. But like, I think it's, like, Lifestyle 360 or Life 360. But anyway, so what it does, it just basically puts, like, a fucking homing device on whatever you want it to be on. And uh, so, like, so what it does is, like, when Jody's driving home from work, like when she's like two how blocks, ac- how close is it? How accurate? You is can it? you can set the accuracy. So like when she's two blocks away, it'll be like Jody's home, and I'll be like, yeah, put my dick away, kick the bitch out, you know, like yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking all, all right, prostitutes. What do you mean can, you could set the accuracy? Why would you like dial the accuracy back? I I, I made that. I don't think you can set the all accuracy. Right. I caught it. I caught you Shut in that. F- God, why would you even call me out on that? The listeners don't know. I'm they trying might, to sell dude. this app. I'm trying to sell this app. Are you selling the app? No, but I'm trying to get sponsorship You're not from the app. You're selling me on the app. I think I'm going to do away with this. It was made for a Mexican with a smaller head. Well, let's do another shot. Maybe you should think about it. You boys like Mexico! Uh, I don't know. Hit the button. See what they think. All right, bro. We could do that, and we uh, we owe the wheel of shit too. I don't like having to get up all the time. I guess I should drag the ice chest over here. Mm. I'm gonna pour a full shot this time. Are you gonna take a full shot? Yeah. Give me your. So I'd like to ask the. Our listeners, a question. What do you want to know about our listeners? Well, I'd like to know what they. Uh, I'd like to know how they feel about. About drones. I would like to know a lot about our listeners. To be honest, I want to know who y'all are. That's why all the time I'm like, hey, shoot us an email, give us a phone call, 504 457 8011. The random message, I think they only know about that from YouTube. Um, in general, we keep putting the phone number out there because I want you all to call in and give a random message. For real. Like if you're bored at work and you have something stupid to say, that's fine. 457-8011. If you're angry and you feel like cursing somebody out. Yeah. I'll fucking, I'll come right back with you. Hey. Call and leave a message, 457-8011. You, you if, say fuck uh, me, I say fuck you. If you just took that last hit off the pipe and you're like, holy shit, I'm way too high, quickly, 504-457-8011. If you just fucked your cousin, let yeah. us know. 457-8011. If you just fucked but your seriously, cousin's I, boyfriend. I, I'm, I'm saying that because I want to know who's listening to us, like what type of people are we drawing in? Because on... On Podbean, which is who we podcast through, it just gives a bunch of statistics and numbers and shit flat on a screen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to know who these people are. So I'm looking to engage. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, man. Definitely. I, I hear you nice. 100%. I would love to, yeah, I mean, just to just to get on top of what you're Let's saying. Let's get engaged, listeners. Just just let, let, let us know what the fuck you're thinking, man. Like, if you're listening to us, then obviously you're listening to us thinking. So not only um, that, we have are you thinking? interesting swag to give away, like not just the T-shirt with the logo on it, but uh, I've got a picture of Todd when he's fresh out of dental surgery, still high as a kite on anesthesia, and I'll put that on a T-shirt for you, and I'll make him sign it. Where else are you going to find that shit? Where? I had a fleshlight made from Dave's wife's vagina. Oh, no, you didn't. Dude. 
somewhere in my <laughs> list. Somewhere in my list. I want you to tell us about the fleshlight, bro. Cheers. What just happened? I just... Uh, cheers, bro. Nothing happened. Here's... Here's to who? Who's died? Man, too many people. I volleyed up the last one, dude. Yeah. Kanye the elephant. That was like some weird, weird shit. All right, so here's I to... I know, but I mean, you I'm know. I'm cool with... It. Dude, I love animals, bro. It's the Audubon Zoo, baby. They um, all ask for you. Man, who... Who had passed recently? Man, there have been so many... So many deaths. Like, there was the death of my job. Well, you know it was fucked up? One of those last episodes, I was like, who's passed recently? And you're like, somebody you told me, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, really? Who? And then you said Chris Calloway. And I'm like, oh, man. But I'm always thinking in terms of, like, famous people. So I'm uh, never shouting out, like, people close to us. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have said that. My bad. Well, no. That's why I didn't think of him to toast. You see what I'm saying? Like, it never occurred yeah. to me. But, I mean, sh- we could, but it would get depressing, I think. Not so, for me. No? Yeah, I don't know. The last time I saw the dude, he threatened me. Well, I mean, you know, that person in particular, but I could be shouting out, like, family members and or some shit. And the last time shit, before you know? that, I don't know. I don't think that I ever had a conversation with the dude. So, you know what? Fuck that cat. Yeah, it didn't, uh, I don't understand that whole dynamic. Uh, I tried yeah. talking to him for you. It didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, it's just... May he rest in peace. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I don't know who to toast to, to be honest, bro. I don't know uh, who's died this year. I went down a uh, list. Wikipedia's got, like, a huge list. Yeah. People die every 99% day, 99% of them, I don't even know who the fuck. Man, this is just turned slow. I know. So... Look, ching, ching. But fuck it. I don't even know. Let's get to that and wheel of shit. You're this early. is to the at at that uh, Luke Skywalker had to hide inside. May that frozen carcass rest in peace. All right, to the frozen carcass. Hey, bro, you can you can talk shit all you want. What are you, you doing? It is Why what it are you is. sipping it? I saw that. You're supposed to open your mouth and dump it in there. We can either continue to talk about that or go on with the podcast. You make the choice. You gotta take your shot is what you need to do. And don't embarrass me because we're filming. Hey, the, our fans can talk about this shit all they want. They will. Matter of fact, I want to make sure I make a point to, to make fun of oh, Wait, Todd. what are you doing here? Are you covering up some kind of fucking obvious party foul that you've made? Oh, I spilled a bit of beer that is nowhere near a party file as taking half Oh, of so he shot. just realized that he's just covering up. Half a shot. He's covering up some kind of some kind of horrible mistake that he had made that he was not even going to tell the people about. Unintentional. Oh, unintentional. Yeah, but unintentional. You're taking half a shot is intentional. Which still leaves the other half Why for are you me. Why intentionally gay? I don't understand. Uh, I mean, I don't even know. I thought people were born that way, but you choose to be that way, obviously. Uh, uh, yeah. You okay over there? You gonna be all right? Uh, I don't know. That was a lot. Ooh. Yeah, no, I'm cool with it, man. Hmm. You good? A hundred percent. Yes, always. The last episode, the last two episodes, we filmed, but uh, the lighting was horrible. And so oh, we're not posting it. Point tonight. Yeah. So tonight I mean, we light. made sure we got great lighting. So if you do look us up on YouTube, you will be able to see our faces definitely this time. I got a freaking work light out here. I uh, I applied cocoa butter to my exposed skin, so hopefully you notice the difference. I'm terrified to I was know told what the friends. sombrero did to my hair because we're on, we're on TV now. Dave, your hair looks great. Does it really? <clears throat> yeah. Thanks. Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. I've always been envious. You seem generally to be a happy person. How the hell do you do that? We're I, all happy. Yeah, no. If you had to say whether or not I'm generally a happy person, you would probably say generally not. Nah, bullshit. You're a happy person, but I think you like to you like to put on a uh, like a 
eh, like you just don't cross me right now because like not a not an asshole yeah. face, but yeah. like yeah, you probably don't want to ask me a question. Well, like earlier you were like, dude, you haven't smiled all day. Well, yeah, you hadn't. But I wasn't like that wasn't intentional. I didn't even notice. Well, you, you just seemed like you were doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yo, this is a celebration. I'm I'm here to celebrate. I'm fucked up. Let's uh let's get you fucked up. I'm better off attending somebody else's celebration because they're handling all the logistics and I'm oh, just yeah. sitting back, you know what I'm yeah. saying, getting yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, it's great. When I have a uh, like a thing at my house, um I'm busy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're the host. You got to do shit. Yeah, fuck that. That's not the place you want to be in. I was yeah, I was I was telling uh my uh my main hoe the other or today actually. Yeah. My main hoe is Jody. Shout out to Jody, my main hoe. What up, Jodes? Jodes. Oh, and by the way, I don't have any other hoes. Yeah. But I just like to call her my main hoe. He's ho, got Jodes. He's I've got Jodes. Jodes. In different I've got Jodes. area codes. In different in area, area codes. <laughs> area codes. <laughs> Jodes. <laughs> Jodes. All right, yeah, so, um, what was I saying? I don't know, that, that like, severed everything in space and time. That was beautiful. We had yeah. a beautiful duet yeah. right there. Shout out to um, Warren G, Nate Dog, and the whole f- uh, 213. Hum Breezy. <laughs> Yo, I just shouted out the 213. That was a badass album, the 213. Oh, man. Nate Dog, Warren G, and Snoop. Yeah. 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 You know that they were like not, none of them were rappers. Like Dre was a rapper and then Snoop and then Warren G was like Dre's cousin who was just like a, like a pretty boy. Dre was a DJ. Well, right. He was like a, like a disco DJ. Yeah. You know? Funny costume wearing ass motherfucking DJ. Right. <laughs> I don't, that's fine. It was funny. He changed music styles. A lot of them did, man. Like, a lot of the greats did. They, they, they were trying to find themselves, but they were doing it in the public eye. It takes balls, dude. You know? Yeah, I mean, you know, you say it takes balls, but I mean, really, what is it? I don't... Who gives a fuck, right? Like, it's all... It's, it's art at that point, so, like, who really gives it, a fuck? You, you can, that's that's what gives you the though. license to, like, do whatever the fuck. Yeah, but it takes a lot to, like, reveal yourself to the public and not care, I guess. Like... Yeah, I can see that, definitely. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's my personal opinion. Like, that, that, that's the way I feel about things. Like, it'd be yeah. hard for me to get up on stage. I'd probably, eventually, maybe, I don't know, but yeah, it's it would difficult. be kind of hard, dude. I couldn't... Uh, well, all right, my only experience with, you know... So I've never really been on stage. I have, but so my first <clears throat> foray into anything similar to that yep. would be karaoke, right? Like, right. have you ever done karaoke? Nope. And I'd probably be like terrified of it unless I was drunk. Dog, let me tell you, bro. It is like a ridiculously liberating thing. Do you get? Do you do you seriously try to cover the song that you're singing, or let you just t- do let, it comedically? Well, no. I'll tell you how it happened to me, right? So. I was forced into it. It was a situation. It was it was another one of those what we call team buildings, right? Yeah. So it's me and all of my colleagues, me and all my corporate group of of corporate fucking colleagues. Roger. And so we're at the fucking. We actually go to uh, it was like uh, like Little Tokyo. It's like an Asian restaurant. So it's primarily primarily a restaurant, but they do carry they have like karaoke rooms. Yeah, that's popular in that culture. Isn't right. It? Yeah. Right. So, cool, cool. So we basically have our own room. So it's like fucking 20 of us in this room with like a karaoke machine. And like drinks and food are flowing. You know, like See? whatever you want. See, got fucked up. Made yeah, it yeah, easier yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah, And so, dude, we're all out there. Like, I'm pretty sure that like, not, like 80% of them, 80% of us had never done it before. But we all... So is this your first karaoke moment? My first karaoke moment. What? And, like, I was super you intimidated. You heard it here first. Reloaded 504-ians. Right. This was my first, and it was, like... So so I was... Popped your karaoke cherry. I was, I was, I guess, anxious because, 
A, I had never done it. And, like, you know, I don't consider myself to have any kind of fucking singing voice. Oh. Popped your Chinese cherry this, and, this moment. And I'm in front of colleagues, like, people that I work with that, you know, you, you, so, so there was... Sort of want to make sure they respect you. There was a you. fair amount of, uh, of, of, of anxiety, right? So, basically, but... Lots. The point that I'm trying to make is that when I, once it was done... It was like, yeah, it didn't matter. There was no perform. There's, there's no broke performance down a barrier. expectation. Broke down a barrier like a motherfucker, dog. Like, yeah. dude, I finished it and I just wanted to do it again. It's like when you jump off of a waterfall for the first time. It's like, <laughs> is that why you keep swearing by that shit? <laughs> You're like so pro karaoke. Dude, right. I just think if you haven't done it, you have to do it once. Yeah. And if it doesn't like change your outlook on a lot of things, yeah, like it'll make you more change my outlook. Wait, no, what? As far as social, uh, like it'll make you more willing to be. I think so... everybody wants to not give a fuck. It'll it'll help you do that. I think that it probably is a proponent like it, of of making sure what that it you is, don't give a fuck. What it is, it's one of the main like. I guess the <clears throat> leaping points for you to say, okay, that, that like you didn't even realize, but like one of the leaping points where like, yo, you just fucking, you jump off of there and yeah. then you realize that like. All of a sudden you're comfortable again. It, you're more comfortable now. Yeah, it's crazy. For sure. You should definitely do it, bro. I could see it. I'd have to get, I'd have to be drunk. Oh, 100%. Yeah. But once you finish, you're like, whoa, that was not only not that bad, but like actually really fucking crazily good. Crazy yeah. like that, yeah. Anyway, we uh we skipped uh something. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. We uh we yeah. took a shot, bro. So that means that uh it's time for something. Like you feel like I feel like you're testing me. I know what the fuck you're talking about. The wheel of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully I maybe I'll get this some I haven't gotten it in like fucking forever. I need to uh, introduce the wheel of the shit to people that are just introducing themselves to us. The wheel of shit is a finely constructed piece of equipment that I built myself. It's built out of a cigar box. I can give them kudos. It looks, it's it's glorious. Yeah, it's got a switch on it, you know. Anyway, the wheel of shit. The Wheel of Shit. What can I say about the Wheel of Shit? It's got several subjects on it. Um, women, family, job, drugs, what have you. Um, and whatever it lands on after we take a shot is whatever someone needs to talk about. Like, let, let, let's say it landed on job, all right? You need to talk about when your job went to shit, Oh, who is you? Who is you? Well, that's the person that loses at Rochambeau, which is rock, paper, scissors for everybody north of the Mason Dixon. Are we ready for this? We're ready. We're Are ready. You ready to do this? But now, what what the what, what the listeners have to understand is that the only people that suffer the consequences of the wheel of shit are the participants of this podcast. So that's just me and Dave. Yeah, that would be interesting if we spun the wheel of shit for call-ins, huh? We'd love your call-ins. That'd be kind of cool. We'd spin the wheel of shit. <clears throat> but, I mean, I don't know if y'all have the balls to do something like that. That sounds kind of fucking crazy to put right, your you shit out there like that. You knocked off my pointer. I didn't touch your pointer. Yeah. Yeah. The pointer was there when I picked this up uh, earlier and brought it to this table. So bro. you're saying that I broke <clears throat> the it's all wheel good. of it's shit. A, it, was a, it was a super glued zip tie. I ain't gonna lie. But, hey. Whatever. No, I'll I, I, improve I, I, the design. Yeah. Now that you've done that, it's it's cause for me to improve the design because I plan on passing this down to my reloaded 504 grandchildren. Dave, I don't know if I've told you, this is neither here nor there, but I've, I've given up CAD. I don't do CAD anymore. CAD design? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. I do manual labor now. Really? Yeah. Good. You can start by repairing my wheel of shit. <laughs> 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 All right, man, let's do the Rochambeau, so. To see. Ready? Ready? Okay, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. 
You can't be going slow like that, dog. We tied, though. We did, because you went super cheating slow. I hit the same time you hit, son. You ready? Damn it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Every goddamn time. I swear I've to God. I've mastered this shit. Every time. I'm so fucking good at this shit. Every time. <sighs> All right, man. Dave's getting pissed off. I can see it. I built the wheel of shit, and now He's it seems testing. like lately I'm facing the wheel of shit I constantly. Mean, it is what it is. Dave, I love you, brother. I just want to hear all your stories, bro. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Dude, I'm super good at Rochambeau. It's garbage. Dude, I'll it's give, a conspiracy. I'll give lessons. Dude, you plot me. it's all in the eye contact, bro. You can yeah. see everything. You're from cheating, there. bro. I just don't know how. Uh-huh. I'm going to figure it out because <laughs> yeah. we have many more episodes. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, what am I, like seven oh to my one? God. <laughs> what did it land on? It landed on family. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You don't even have to say anything. Just be like, read the paper. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not bringing that up, dude. All There's right. no way. That's, uh... Um, I'm sorry. Right. A <laughs> time when family went to shit. <laughs> oh. Let me think. I should stop laughing. You're okay about that, huh? You, you good? Gotta keep moving, right? How All are right. you with, with him? You kind of hated that dude, right? No. All right. Family. A time when family went to shit. Did you see that fly, dude? I go to wave him away, and he's like, I ain't moving. Yeah, he's like... I got to think of a time when family went to shit. Um, Pick one. Um, Oh, my God. That's mighty personal. I didn't even think about that, man. All right. uh, You made the wheel. Yeah, I know. I made the wheel. Now I have to. You have just been spilling your guts on the wheel, bro. (laughs) Fucking, I'm I'm gonna go back over these (laughs) video pieces that we keep posting to YouTube, and I'm gonna figure (laughs) out how you're cheating at Rochambeau. Look, y'all, reloaded five hundred four. I got Rochambeau is rock paper scissors, and we have to do the rock paper scissors to see who faces the wheel of shit. Mm. Some kind of a way. Todd's on a streak right now, and it just don't stop. I keep losing. Yo, so just, I'm going to have to go back and look at the, the YouTube videos, or one of y'all reloaded 504 It's simple. Go look at the YouTube it's videos simple. and tell me what he's doing. Man, I can tell you right now. We Garbage. Can go over, we can go over the film right now. It's a, it's, it's, it's a simple technique. Man, I got to think of a time when family went to shit. Such a sore subject, dude. Because uh, I lost my grandfather in 16, my uncle in 17, my grandmother in 18, hey. and now just recently in 19, another uncle. So Why don't we just pass it? I have a question for you, though. Um, gotta, Goody Mob, how you feel about going to see that show? Definitely. Goody Mob? Yeah. You going to be around when they... I don't know. You got to tell me when they come in town. I wouldn't go see Big Gip by himself. No, but I'd see Goody Mob. No, no, it's good. It's not only Goody Mob. It's like the Dungeon Family reunion. So it's basically everybody but Andre. So it's, it's a. Uh, it's, I saw that, but I don't remember. It's Big Boy. It's uh, Goody Mob, which is gonna be like the entire. Uh, but are I, the question is, are you gonna be like you know on the? If on the I line? just said that I, I just said that I saw. Like, I knew that was happening, so yeah. probably not, because I always check. Yeah. As soon as I see something good, I go check. Right. But if I am in town, I would definitely go see that, and anybody that I know that doesn't go see that, that is in town, sucks. Yeah, yeah. So this, well, uh, I'm already on it, so like $70 floor tickets. All right, let me get back to this. Time when family went to shit. Um, all right, uh, I let a cousin stay at my house one time and um he was doing bad he needed a place to stay so let him stay a couple of nights uh we won't mention his name but let him stay a couple of nights and that was that he was gone like a month later i get a phone bill and it's like 
exploded. <laughs> like this huge phone bill. And I'm like, what the fuck? Back, like landline phone bill? Yeah. And I'm <laughs> like, what the fuck? And at the time, dude, I was working at a, a metal fabrication plant. I wasn't making like great money. I was like barely scraping by. I, it was shitty, like bologna sandwiches for lunch every day. It sucked. That sounds delicious. So I'm looking at this goddamn phone bill. I'm like, sounds like you a bunch of bologna. Be kidding me, man. Yeah, I was like, bologna. Did you did you so slap, did you slap the fuck out of the uh, person? I didn't realize it was him. I didn't realize it was him. We call the phone company and they tell us that it the the reason the bill was so high was because of um, a sex line, or two sex line calls. Yeah. Like one of those one nine hundred lines. Fuck yeah. They call in and talk Did, to somebody while you jerk off, and they're like, oh, you're so big. Did I know you at the time? That could have been me. I cause definitely, I like would get on all of my friends' Dude. phones and be like, I just like fucking just jerk off on the wall. You, well, you're an asshole. Well, like my, my cousin. My bad. So, uh, uh, I mean, like I was 16. Fucking. So I figure right, out. I take that. I've I'll never done that in my life. This situation. I promise you, I've never. Make done. your mind up, bro. I figure out this situation. I find out that it's it's pay calls on my phone bill that inflated my phone bill and then it's but only me like and the girl I was living bill. with no 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 I was living by myself oh. so me and my girl are talking and we're like no I didn't do it no I didn't do it you fucking cousin and do y'all both know that your it's your fucking cousin like stayed with us for two days it's gotta shit. be your cousin yeah. so I call my cousin I'm like hey bro I got a problem Maybe you could tell me where it came from. <laughs> right. And I described the whole situation in great detail. Yeah. And he's like, no way. Uh, none Never. of this sounds no. familiar to me. What? Wasn't me. No. Sex no, lines. No, no. What the yeah. fuck? No way. No way. Well, it just so happens that they have a service where you could call the company and they let <laughs> you hear a recording of the person because they ask him. Well, this particular service did. They're like, are you 18 years of age or older? Say yes or no. So I got to hear the person that perpetrated the fraud on me say yes. Uh, did and it sound eerily it uh, similar to somebody that you knew? Eerily like my family. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, guess what? You owe me money, motherfucker, uh, and I'm not talking to you right, again until yo, you pay it back. It is what I didn't, it is. Hey, you bro, busted, son. I didn't talk to that dude for a year. Did he Did he cop? He, did I don't he... even remember if he paid the money or not. It wasn't even about the money. It was like, you know what? You fucking robbed me on a slick. <laughs> yeah, for You know real, what I'm saying? It real. got you nut. While you were and, staying in my house. And I caught you. Yeah. And you lied about it. Yeah. All you had to do was come clean. Yep. Did not talk to the dude for a whole year. Don't Any kind of family you. gathering, I was like, is he there? I ain't coming. Don't blame you. Oh, I'm here and he's coming? I ain't going to be there. Yep. So that's my time that family went to shit. Yeah, man. That, that was a... Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Yeah, 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 yeah no doubt. <laughs> I think you handled that one well, to be honest with you, man. You know? A year. And we were super, super close, so it really it got to him. So yeah. he knew he fucked up. Definitely. Well, um, you know, people like that need to learn lessons. And, and honestly, that's the best way to teach a person like that lessons is, I guess, through... It's like this, through, like, man. Like, if through, you, like, loyal, like, you got to show... It was a loyalty issue, bro. Yeah. You, you about said it. It was a loyalty issue, you know? Yeah. And if, if uh, you treat me like that when I'm around, then maybe I won't be around so much. You know what I'm saying? And you could figure out whether that fits. Let me ask you this, though, man. Like, what? like man to man, like, at what point does, like, ah... I'm listening. I don't know. There's really no like I. I don't really even have a question. That's bad podcasting. I know, right? I just realized I I don't have any way of tracking how long we're doing the podcast for. I think, with this new setup, I don't think I do. We should get a uh, we should get a clock. Oh wait, I see it. Seventy four minutes. 
Dead okay. serious. Yep. Okay. We're going to end this bitch. All right, you ready for round two? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be back with the next podcast, but this one's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, over. Say goodbye. Uh, Say done goodbye. 100. Hey, yo, everybody, check out Todd Crane Nola on YouTube. Love Peace. You.